and friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and MagicBrad.com. And I've got a new friend, a local guy. His name is Michael LaRocco. Did I do it right? Yeah, LaRocco, but still. LaRocco, La La I'll get it right. Uh, it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, I got an accent. I got a, I got a Minneapolis accent. You're over on the on the east side in St. Paul. Over here we say La Rocco. La Rocco. <laughs> you betcha. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't do these too long because we got that uh, precious commodity of time. Everybody's got the same amount and it disappears every day. It goes away and we got to start all over again. So I do them kind of quick and just find out who are you, what do you do, where do you do it, when do you do it, how do you do it, and all that stuff. So who's Michael La Rocco? Um, as you know, Rocco. I'm, Rocco. Uh, I'm a digital marketer first. I'm going to start, you know, I believe that every small business, real estate agent, any solo entrepreneur, entrepreneur, small business owner, they need to have an automated sales system, an automated lead generation system. And I believe that because population nowadays, it's, it's increasing dramatically and just there's not too many, you, you can't always have somebody there to be answering the phones, to be talk or to just kind of answer questions that clients have and everything like that. So what my company does is we build chat bots, um, sales funnels and everything to do with just digital marketing. And we do that. So that way business owners and everything, they have their own digital president presence. I get it. Yep. So I'll, I'll give you a virtual high five. How's that? Can we do that? Can we do that? <laughs> High five. Because total agreement with you in that um, it's just different nowadays because you can you can answer your phone, but the person might not want to talk to you. Even if they call you, they might, they'd might rather probably leave a message. Things are weird with you new millennials and all that kind of stuff. You know, you'd rather text and we'll text and maybe we'll get... To, because you, you're in control now, you know, you can... You can say, I, I don't know if I want to buy a house. I don't know if I want to meet you right now. You're a real estate agent, but I don't know if I like your vibe. So let me get to know you better first before I even want to take time to talk to you. So I yep. totally get it. And might as well utilize automation to be able... That's why I do these videos like this. Uh, the get to know, like, and trust factors. Uh, yep, definitely. Very cool. So do you do like, uh, like, like social media in general or do you like to work on a specific platform? I know a lot of people like to do Facebook because you can laser target people with Facebook. I'm specifically, I work with Facebook, but I have like my virtual assistant. She does SEO for me and everything like that. I've gotten, she already knew a little bit about it, but I ended up going out and just buying a couple different training courses and giving it to her just so that way I can help build her skills even more. So that way she's more of a value towards my company and everything that way. And not only my company, it's all the other companies that she's able to help. She can use the skills that she's learning from what I'm giving her and everything like that to even build her own company around SEO. You know, and then, the, just giving props to what you're doing there, I think a lot of people, some, pe some people want to learn it themselves, so they go to all these meetups yeah. and they try and learn it. I think that's kind of stupid. And yeah, I'm I mean, just, but my I'm opinion. Basics, but I, I just don't want to dig too deep into it because I mean, like I just said, the basics, that's all I really need to know is just so that way I know kind of how to explain it to clients yeah. and then have her do the actual work. Yeah, because it's, it's going to change and you got to have somebody that's got their pulse on the industry because it's going to shift. You know, what, what, what worked yesterday doesn't work today because they changed yep. things. You always got to be on it. And it's yep. rather than like a real estate agent trying to learn how to do it themselves, they should be out selling the house and meeting with people rather than trying to figure out Facebook pixels and all that wacko weird stuff. Exactly. Cool. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here. Do you focus locally or do you do do, uh, do nationwide global stuff or you try and target just local? Um, well, when I work with restaurants, I try to do it locally just so that way I can go out and I can make like a pr promotional video for them and everything like that and be able to go in there, take professional pictures and just get everything. Otherwise, for like real estate agents, it's a lot easier to work with the whole nation as a whole, just because some of the agents around here, they might not sell as many houses, but then somebody, let's say out in California, they sell more higher ticket houses and they have the budget to pay for it. Well, you know what's happened with the, uh, 
Because restaurants are definitely local. I'm not going to drive to California just even they got to, if they got a good fish sandwich. I don't care, you know, it's too far to go. <laughs> but with real estate, there's a big network. I'm, I'm in a Minnesota real estate decide. You know what? I'm just going to pass this lead on to somebody else. I happen to find it on Craigslist, and I'm going to send it over to my buddy Steve that's in Austin, Texas, or whatever. And they just make stuff work like that. So it's very very cool. So where, where do you do your work? Do you have an office? Are you in your home office now? Or you work out of a coffee shop? Or are you a kind of a mobilepreneur like me? Or you just work off this thing? <laughs> I normally work from my home. I have my own little home office that I just, it's a spare bedroom at my house that I just turn into an office. Otherwise, the last couple months, I've been going on trips once, pretty much once a month. Um, January, I went to AdCon in Tampa, and I kind of did a little bit of remote work there. Um, February, I went to the 10X Growth Conference with um, Grant Cardone and all. Oh wow! <laughs> and that one, it was it was really. Did amazing. you did you meet him? I didn't get to meet Grant Cardone. I, I I'm, I'm not the person to stand in line for hours. Yeah, I wouldn't either. It touches robe and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Testosterone Cardone. <laughs> <laughs> this is really interesting. Yeah, and then this month. And on the 18th, I'm headed down to Florida again because I'm going to a mastermind that's held by the guy I tagged you in yesterday, the Josh Forty. Um, he's a he's a up and coming um, real estate or not real estate agent. He's an up and coming entrepreneur. I hired him about six months ago to be my business consultant, and he really got me going in the social media world. I mean, I went from 400 Facebook friends and five followers to I've deleted thousands of people, thousands of friends off my Facebook, just people that are inactive, just to kind of build that up, just so that way I have active people. And my, my followers now, I think I just reached 2,000 followers on Facebook. It's called weeding your friend garden. Yep. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of people on it. it. It always ends up being too much work. I don't know. What, what is the max now? Is there a max on Facebook? How many people you can have? It's 5,000. 5,000. I'm not there yet, so I don't Every have to pull weeds there, yet. We'll go to, there's a Google Chrome extension called Friend Remover Pro, and it lets you just mass delete people off your friends list. And I normally start at the bottom because those are normally the non-active people. The sludge. Then, yep. Exactly. <laughs> we shouldn't talk about people that way. Let's see. Um, I got two more questions for you, then I'll beam this up to the internet. But one of them is, I want to ask how to get a hold of you in case someone wants to work with you. But first, I'd like to find out the big why. I do the W like that, the big W. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you like, you look like you might be a skateboarder or something. Why are you doing this thing for, for a living? I have a lot of entrepreneurs in my family. And that really drove me to follow the entrepreneur route myself. Uh -huh. and, you know, I, I tried working the nine to five. I've worked for 13, 14 different companies. I ended up dropping out of high school when I was 18, went back at 22, finished by 24, started college, went to college for a year and just found out that it, it wasn't for me. <laughs> I ended up quitting my jobs and just kind of, going full force into the entrepreneurship world. I started flipping a property back in September and we put about, we're at like 40 grand in repairs after we thought that it was only going to be 25 grand in repairs. So we kind of, kind of flopping a little bit on that. And then that kind of drove me. I, I really like doing the marketing. Side. So instead of flipping houses, you're flopping houses. Yep. <laughs> That's what I tell some people. I mean, people get into this real estate thing and uh, you got to know the industry you can't go just bidding i wonder how much that roof's going to cost it's probably about fifteen thousand. then find yeah. out it's twenty thousand, and now you're not doing so good no more yeah we we had a couple um foundation problems that we didn't see in the beginning yeah kind of drove the price up a little bit for the repairs i i dig it i get it i'm, I'm an affiliate marketer myself you're much more control of what you're doing rather than yep because you really have to know the industry Affiliate marketing, you just got to walk them through the front door. <laughs> exactly. Cool. And then to get a hold of me, you could either find me on Facebook at Michael Arocco. Otherwise, you can email me at Michael at Anunci, A-N-N-U-N-C-I, and then the middle dash, and then uh, marketing 
at Outlook.com. Ooh, that's or, that's a tough one to remember. You have to send me that one in Facebook. Maybe I can okay. include it. Other yeah, than you that, can put it in like the show notes or whatever, and you, people can get a hold of me that way. You got a website or anything, or just you? Yep, it's pretty much the Anunci Center Marketing.com. Okay. And it's just the start of my sales funnel. It just kind of has the three different people that I work with. And depending on what industry you are, you just click that and it brings you to that start of the funnel. Very cool. Well, I admire what you're doing. You're a younger generation and you kind of get it. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly internally Facebook pixels work and all that stuff. I got the pixel on all my websites and my landing pages and stuff. But how do I retarget it and return it and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> Yeah, that it, it's definitely a lot to take in. But I mean, if you ever want to sit down, I could sit down and I could be able to help you out with that a little bit. Well, the, see, what I'm trying to get across to a lot of people is to try and simplify as much as possible because it's really easy to figure something out and go, oh, my God, look what it does this, 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 this. Yep. But all you really needed to do is get them to opt in. Yep. <laughs> What's really good about the Pixel is that you can retarget people that went to the landing page, but you can exclude people that went to the thank you page, or let's say you have like a 10 step funnel, you can include the first five steps, but then exclude the last five steps. So that way you're only getting the people that went to specific pages on your website. So right. if you have like the second page, once they actually opt in, you have that as a lead, you can retarget to the leads. Otherwise you can just retarget to the people that page views. Or okay. Opt. Bring it down. Bring it down. You got me confused already. That's why we outsource to people like you. <laughs> if you want to hang on, we can chat further, but I'm going to wrap this one up, put it in a can, beam it up to the universe, and then we'll share it out to the, to the world. Oh, yeah. I actually have so. another meeting that I do have to attend. Okay. But we can definitely schedule something else to cool. get more in-depth about everything. All right. Thanks, bud. Thanks. No problem. Peace. Have a good night. You too.